So first I wanna give you an orientation to these different workspaces. Right now we're on the home screen and you'll see that Deduce is giving us a preview of different areas and workspaces here. Right now, they're all blank because we don't have any data uploaded or coded yet, but that will change shortly. Often I advise people to navigate to the specific workspace that they want to be working in rather than working from these home screen windows, just because it can be more clear and you get more features if you go to that specific workspace. On the upper left, you'll see some macro project information. So you'll see your project title and then a bunch of information about how many users, pieces of media, um, excerpts, codes, code applications that you have in your project. And you'll also see that's where you can import data and export data as well. You'll also see the project title on the upper right. And then right next to the project title are some icons I wanna go over. So far to the right, you have your logout button. Your reload button is great if you're working in real time with other folks and you feel like you're not seeing the most up-to-date information, you can always hit the reload button and that will refresh it for you. The Help Center connects you to different resources that Deduce has. One that's not listed currently is the YouTube page. So just know that Deduce Support has a great YouTube page with a bunch of different tutorials for you. Next, we have our instant messaging system. So this is great and underscores those real-time collaboration features. You'll see on the left-hand side here, it will list all people in the project. Currently, it's just me. And then you also have this instant messaging area where you can send instant messages to other folks who are currently in the project, um, whether that's to coordinate a call or ask a question, any info that you want to exchange. This area does clear out, I believe after 24 to 48 hours. So if you message something important to your project, be sure to copy and paste that in a memo to make sure that that's saved. One icon to the left will take you to the same place. It's just showing you how many active users are in your project. You have your background tasks button. This will tell you if you have any large files still being processed by Deduce. You have your volume button and then an unpin or pin the header. So this is great if you don't wanna be distracted by this upper area, or perhaps if you're working on a smaller screen and you wanna maximize your working space, you can unpin this header and then you'll see you have a, a bit more space to work with. I'm gonna go ahead and repin it. All right, and then we have these different workspaces. So your codes workspace, this will house your full code book on the left-hand side here. Your media workspace will house all of the qualitative data in your project. So earlier when we were talking about transcripts, video, images, audio files, any open-ended qualitative data from a survey, all of that information will be listed for you here. Your excerpts workspace houses every single thing that you've coded in your data. So all of those snippets of information that you've attached codes to will be listed here. And you can think of this as a huge database, allowing you to do some advanced sorting and filtering, depending on what you want to see. Those are more advanced features, so I'm not going to cover that today. The descriptors workspace will house all of the quantitative, categorical, or demographic information that you want to use as descriptors. You can create descriptors either by manually creating them via this set fields area. For instance, if I wanted to create a field called gender and then have different options listed, I could do so. And you can also import those via a spreadsheet. And we have more advanced tutorials speaking specifically to those functions and features. Next, we have the Analyze workspace. Deduce has dozens and dozens of charts here to help you visualize your data and dig into your data deeper. 
often I point people to about five to seven charts that will be pretty helpful no matter what type of data or um, analysis you're doing. And we'll also link that video in the notes for you. But just know that it sometimes can be nice to just play around in this analyze workspace and then ask more targeted questions once your analysis progresses. Next, we have our memos workspace. So this will house every single memo that's been written in the project. And you have options to create different memo groups that you can filter by. And there's a whole bunch of different memo options that we also have a specific video for if you're interested in those. The training workspace is great if you want to train someone up on your codebook or test inter-rater reliability using uh, Cohen's Kappa. So that's a statistical test that's gauging your level of agreeability between two coders. Know that there are qualitative approaches that you can use within Deduce to gauge trustworthiness and reliability between two coders. We also have some videos on that. But if you need a Cohen's Kappa score, you can get one by creating a test in this workspace. Next, we have our security workspace. This is where you would add other people to the project that you wanted to collaborate with. So as I mentioned earlier, real-time collaboration is super easy with Deduce. You would simply hit Add User search for the user that you want to add to your project. There are different security groups you can put them in, all the way from you can only view and you can't touch anything, basically, all the way to a full project manager and virtually everything in between. Next, you have your data sets workspace. This is where you can do some advanced filtering and create subsets of your data. So here you can filter by descriptors, media users. So if I wanted to work in the project, but only see my own coding, for instance, so that I wasn't distracted by other folks, I could deactivate other users. And you can also filter by codes as well. And then we have our projects workspace that we were already in and your account workspace. So this is great if you want to add a user to your account. So not your project, but your account if you wanted to pay for them. This is also where you can edit any of your information, such as your email, your password. Um, if you want an overview of all of your account projects, they'll be listed here. Any billing information, or if you want to make a payment within Deduce, you can do that quite easily. And then also some security information. So there are a bunch of different options if you, for instance, need two-factor authentication or to enforce a specific password policy with your team, you can do so. All right.